No, don't do the podcast. No, no, I do the intro. All right. You know. Yeah. The podcast. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You forgot the Welcome. name of our podcast. <laughs> Everyone. It's another Tuesday. Wait, the what's today? Greatest Showcast. Friday. It's this is the Starring... Me. <laughs> and then that boy, Adrian. Everybody knows what who I am. Look at my YouTube channel. Do they? Well, I'm. I remember that one guy. He's like, I thought you guys were assholes, but you guys are my friends, so you guys are. Yeah, but they, he was watching it because it was a Cloverfield spoiler discussion. He didn't give a shit about me. You think he's back? He's, he's probably still watching. Hey, that one guy that was uh, on uh, spoiler <laughs> discussions for Cloverfield in the comments that said, like, you guys were assholes, but then I liked you. Sup? up? How you doing? Girl. Hey, <laughs> girl. Will you, are you a girl? Let me know. Send me the the deets. That's what they say, right? All right? Digits? So, Get Out's going to win. Send me the dig- digits. I'm trying to sound uh, cool. Fuck. I'm so not fucking cool. Anyway, talking about not cool, here's the Oscar nominations. And we're going to try to predict what's going to win this Sunday, which we all know Darkest Hour is. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What are you saying? Okay, my controller turned off for a second. Your like, controller <sighs> turned off? Motherfucker, this ain't a game. This <laughs> is real life. This is real. This is the Oscars. What's going to win? All right. And be forgotten about in a week. So we're delaying Marvel. Yeah. Cause... Okay, for people that are wondering, last week we said we're going to do a big Marvel week because we, we missed a couple of weeks here and there of our Marvel marathon. Where we talk about every movie leading up to. We've got a lot of stuff going on in between. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, we talked and about Black Panther that one time, so yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of this, but then uh, yeah. I got busy, so yeah. we can only do this podcast. Yeah. And then to top off how how much we're gonna scramble for Marvel stuff, uh, Marvel bumped it up a week. Yep. So now we have to really. I think if we do, this ain't gonna happen. But I think if we do. Do like oh we keep I, I still want to keep that that triple one because you, that's a good that's a good uh yeah that's a good triple threat combo because that's the leading up to and then the thing and then the after I think do that and then we could double up every week from there on they were fine right yeah for for people confused we're gonna do Captain America Avengers and Iron Man, Iron 3. Man three those are three movies that kind of I mean they all have to do with something I mean they all have something to do with each other but those three are like the good. Yeah, I guess lead up and then whatever. You know. The good fellas. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> sure, <laughs> it's like the Godfather. Those are like the Godfather movies of uh, Avengers. I mean, I mean uh, Marvel <laughs> Avengers. Fuck it's, it. It's the Marvel of the Avengers. Yeah, whatever. I I don't care. I don't want to talk about fucking cartoon movies anymore. All right, these. I want to talk about Get Out. I want to talk about Best Picture, bitch. All right, we're gonna talk about the Oscars and we're gonna predict them. All right, and I'm gonna write down mine. I don't know about you. Did you did you do the uh, movie pass thing? What movie pass thing? What happened? Oh, you didn't check the, your email. No, what happened? Uh, movie pass did a uh, survey mm-hmm. where it's it's predicting the Oscars. Oh, okay. And yeah. and yeah. top three get a lifetime subscription to movie pass. Oh fuck. But your problem now is that if there is a try breaker, it goes by whoever did it fastest. So. Even if you're correct at this point, you're probably gonna lose. It goes by who did it faster. Fuck yeah, so, you. So whoever whoever submitted first. You know I don't care. It's only ten dollars a month. You think I care? Screw y'all. How about that movie pad? You won't even be gone for long. I mean, you won't be around for you're long already, anyway. You won't even gone <laughs> for long, be, right? Yeah, whatever. You know that. You'll be gone soon enough. <laughs> I don't see how that will last much longer anyway. And also, I don't see um, I don't see them keeping that price. You know, like I think as as soon as it starts to end, they'll raise the price up. Which means you probably should have gotten that that that. Yeah, but they'll be dead, so it doesn't matter. They'll raise the price and then they'll die. So I know I'm not getting it because I've, I've I said that the lead river was gonna win. Well, they have what three million users now, so maybe back then when they had twenty thousand, where I was one of the first twenty thousand, uh, maybe I would have got it. Yeah, wait, did you have Movie Pass before or no? Uh, no, I signed no. up, but then that was when like the price was fluctuating. Yeah. 
Because what was it first? Like it was uh, 25, and then it went to 35, then it went to 50, then it went to 100. But the hundred dollar one let you go see IMAX movies and 3D movies, uh, and then it went back to to 50, and then it was 10. That's how that's that's the way it went. And then they also had the monthly ones where it was like 10 bucks, you see three movies. Um, I think 25 was six, then 50 was unlimited. Yeah, you know, they had all types of different tiers and 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 prices and whatnot. I think at that point I, I would have done the 25 one. Yeah. Yeah, twenty five would have been bad. Six movies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Maybe it was thirty. I can't remember exactly. It's been a little while. But uh, I still, yeah. I still had the unlimited because I had it before. That was only for newer people. I still you got grandfathered. So. Yeah. Yeah, mine was thirty five after that, so it never went up though, which is good. I didn't need to pay no hundred dollars. And then you woke up one morning. If I had to pay hundred dollars, be fucked. I'd be like, nope. I'd be screwed. I have, uh, I've been getting a lot of people that I know they work with on Movie Pass. Oh, yeah. Like some of the teachers I've been with, nice. They've been like, because <laughs> I just keep talking about movies. Like, how do you afford to go all these movies? I'm like, oh, movie pass. Yeah. They, but but uh, and I don't understand why they haven't done it yet. I don't know why there's like not a family plan yet. You know, they, they always say they're working on it. Yeah, didn't I think they had one before where it was like yeah, you, but you they, all, get three they cards probably got rid of it. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I, I'd happily pay like even like twenty five a month just to make it like a three a two pass thing. No two pass. Oh okay. Yeah, because I mean, like at this point, it's it's such a hassle to like coordinate shit. But uh, however, my uh, the brew house here has e-ticketing now. Yeah. So I can just good. go I, with you. Mine doesn't, but good for you, I guess. You could just use it whenever you want, right? That means. Yeah. So let me check it out right now. Okay. Let's see how this works. If you want to go see, I've, I've, if you want to go see early, man, at one o'clock in the morning, because that's the only times it's showing now, uh, then. <laughs> you can get your ticket now or like can you what is it like you hold it because i've never done e-ticketing i guess let's see what all right pass so for example if i want to go to black no. panther 10 30 continue to e-ticketing let's see no it, it's just straight up you just go click the seat it's like the same thing as if you're like on fandango or something and there's a there's a section i know there's a section for it in movie pass but i don't think any of my theaters do it so yeah, it'll it'll actually rise to the top of whenever you uh, you know how the new thing is because it's a little annoying that it goes by like map instead of like list view. Yeah. On uh, now it'll just it'll bump all the e-ticketing to the top now. Huh. Okay. So yeah, just no theaters around me though because I never see that. So, yeah, it yeah, just happened right like now. maybe a week and a half or two weeks ago. Well, they had the e-ticketing section for the longest time where I was like, oh cool. I was just I was like, oh cool. There's no theaters here to do it. That's great. Which is weird, because it's Regal and freaking... Like, I go to Showcase now? Showcase Cinemas? Um, is that the one you go to, or you go to someone else? I go to Cinemark, Cinemark a lot. Yeah, yeah. Showcase is the the one that has like the a lot of screens and stuff, and it's really close, and they just put that on my app. Because for the longest time, they wouldn't take MoviePass. Uh, but now I guess they're like, okay, with it. like, all right. Because it was them. They, they were like, it. nope. It was it was them just saying no, we don't accept Movie Pass. I was like, okay. I don't. I never understood why people don't accept it because yeah, they're, they're still getting their it. money out of it, and, and at this point, you're just losing money by avoiding those people. Yeah, it's just it's you get money. I don't know. Do I, I get what what the whole what what they're worried about. Yeah. But the problem is that it's gonna happen no matter what, so you might as well just accept it. Yeah. I could see also um, what they're worried about here and there, like um. Yeah, I don't know. Is this... No, no, no. Like, because when it does go up, people are like, "I don't want to pay eleven dollars to see one movie now." Yeah, and they they get but... upset and demand prices go down, which they should, because fucking prices over here are ridiculous. Eleven dollars, shit. It's like fourteen dollars here now. It's ridiculous for a two D movie. Are there discount days? Yeah, Tuesdays. Uh, well, no, actually, weekdays besides Friday and Thursday for new films. Um weekdays are like i think three dollars cheaper that's it <laughs> yeah <laughs> tuesdays they used to have a thing at my regal but they don't anymore because they got the recliners so they don't need to do that anymore because people show up anyway so they don't need to do that anymore <laughs> so they used to do See, like all... five dollar movies but then they got recliners they're like not nah, fuck that it's 14 and then weekdays it's like it's a few dollars cheaper you know, See, three all the all the theaters here even the, the, the ghetto one has recliners but the only two that don't have are, are ironically the newest theater 
Yeah. Because it was so new that they put the old seats in there, and then all the other old theaters were like, fuck it, let's upgrade then. Right. So uh, Regal has no well, – one of the Regal ones has no – no, two Regals. The, uh, the the indie theater I'm always at and then uh, one of the, the multiplexes. But the uh, Cinemark that I go to, the one with the 24 screens, right. they, they they have road night recliners, and they, they do $5 Tuesdays. Nice. Which is what I did beforehand. That's not too bad. Nope. Um, $5 Tuesday, shit. And it has the recliners, you said? Yeah, they're all recliners oh, in there. Fuck. And that's the one with the 24 screen, so that's pretty much everything going on right now. Yeah, mine only has 16. And they have they have recliners, but it's still for, it's 14 or I think I think the cheapest it was it was like maybe 11, like 11.15. It was a weird oh, price. Oh fuck! Oh no! What happened? There's a Death Wish beanie available as oh, rewards fuck. for Cinemark. Get it right now. That movie's gonna be great. As <laughs> eleven percent right now on Rotten Tomatoes, um, which I only assume that means so, there's eleven percent negative reviews and eighty nine percent positive. That's what I I got I got bummed because uh I got an email for the annihilation rewards like I think what was it Friday morning no th- Thursday morning right um and I was like <laughs> all right cool I'll, I'll stay because I've, I've been saving some points because they had a uh, annihilation hoodie. Mm-hmm. Like, but like a nice one, like not like an actual throwover hoodie. Like it looked like almost like a just jacket. Right. But it was like sold out by the time I got there <laughs> because they put their rewards up like the day before they they announce it. Yeah. So he's got to control on that. It's like right now I'm looking and they got a uh, they got Death Wish and Red Sparrow stuff up right now. I don't know about that Red Sparrow movie. It's not even getting great reviews. And then no, every time I see so the trailer, I'm like, mm. you know what's funny? And, I mean, and Death I've Wish reading... doesn't look good either, but that looks more entertaining. No, but that looks like a fun yeah. time though. Yeah, and I'm not gonna go in there going, oh, I'm gonna, I can't wait to get upset because there's guns in this movie. Like, no, so I might, Death I Wish, might. What do you want? It's gonna be kind of a den of thieves, but not me going in there tired as shit. I might just go sometime yeah. this weekend and and uh, it's gonna be a popcorn flick, go bucket of popcorn, yeah, giant soda, fuck it. Yeah, Bruce Willis murdering um, some fools. I'm good with that. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Um, no, so it's funny because I was reading the subreddit for Movie Pass. Mm-hmm. People are all experiencing the same thing. We're like, man, I saw like 20 movies the first month, and now I'm just kind of picky because I'm like, yeah, I think that's where I'm at too. Where it's like, I watched everything I want to. Granted, yeah. the holiday season is a lot more in the, in the thick of it, but like now it's like before I would have been like, fuck it, I'll watch Red Sparrow, but now I'm like, no, I I, I can. I could do without Red Sparrow. I could I could. I could do uh, something else with those two hours of my yeah. life. I don't know. Like, I mean, there's a lot of good looking movies coming out soon, so I'm not like really, really. No, nice. no, no. Like, I still watch. I still. You I should see Game Night. Out. Game Night was great. No, I'm, I'm gonna watch Game Night early, man. Fuck Red Sparrow. Yeah, I haven't seen yeah, Early I, Man. I, it's I, gone from my theater, so I guess I'll just wait until it's out on fucking Blu-ray. 4K. Yeah, 4K. No, it's still. It's Can't still wait to here, see that so claymation of 4K. It's still here, so I'm gonna watch it sometime this weekend or next week. I guess I should have uh, been Early Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the movie bombed. Oh. Yeah, like over here at that it giant bombed. Cinemark, the, it's still the, um, Twelve Strong still playing. Dude, Winchester. Ugh. Over Samson. Yeah, I wanted to see Samson. It looks so horrible. Ooh, they're doing the Oscar nominated the short films. Shit. Well, they're out for free right now, so you can just watch them. Are they? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah. What time? What time are the Oscars? Eight thirty, I think. Eastern, I think. Because I know red carpet starts at like freaking I don't know, like two o'clock in the morning, and it just keeps going on for fucking years. Uh, but so the Oscar I think eight thirty, eight eight thirty, something like that. Eastern. They're playing at two o'clock in the afternoon. It's an hour and a half, so I might do that. Hmm. Just hang out for a bit and get some points for my card. Yeah, and they're short. As the yeah. title would suggest, they're short. Are they? Are they like what kind of movies are they though? Do you know like? Um, they're short ones. Are they pretentious ass motherfucking movies or are they oh, kind of like know. the? Deep, I haven't watched ones? them yet. Like, I have, actually have no clue what any of them are. But like past movies, are they? Like, oh yeah, no. Some of been... them are really good. Yeah, definitely. Well, most a lot of them are very. I wouldn't say artsy, but some of them are like that. You know, like Fan- Phantom Thread, I guess. Which uh, you're not too keen on seeing. So something some like I that. Right? I don't want to fucking watch. It. No, they're not all like that in the past. Like there's been some really good ones. I can't. Of course, I can't remember. I, I don't even think I watched any from last year. So 
Yeah. Or Winchester I've only watched so select ones. Oh yeah, just see Winchester. Fuck it. <laughs> we'll talk about Winchester. Um. <laughs> Phantom Thread. Yeah. See Winchester. Samson maybe. The problem with Phantom Thread at the Nice Theater is that it's playing at ten o'clock at night, and I'm not watching <laughs> Phantom Thread at ten o'clock at night. Oh, I heard that movie's four and a half hours long. I'm, I'm gonna get out of that movie at fucking like twelve thirty or one. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I'm actually play it's all these like, 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 like these really badass trailers before it though. And then you like. It's hyped. playing at the at the indie theater though, like around seven oh, o'clock. So, so I might just do that. So they're definitely yeah, the indie theater, indie theaters around here don't even play trailers. But the one where it so had like, a, like it had like a little thing for I forgot what the movie was. I haven't been there in a couple of years, but they had like a little thing for oh, it was that Beatles um. That Beatles documentary that came out, I don't know if you ever heard of it. I forgot what it was called. Eight Days a Week, I think? But um, I imagine that's probably Yeah, nice. I saw something. I can't remember. And they had like a fucking six, seven minute thing talking about that. And I was like, okay. And then there was no trailers. It just started. I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Film stars don't die in Liverpool and stop playing in this theater. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see that. Fuck. Now, that that, that never came that over too. here. I didn't even know that was a movie until like three months ago, maybe. Yeah, I might go watch that. I really want to see we'll it. We'll see. I got I got a lot of movies to watch this week. Anyway. Yeah, I still need to see Mute. I heard it was terrible. <laughs> so. really, no, but did <sighs> I'm kind of weary. I, I'm kind of weary where some people land on like critic reviews because yeah, there's some I, times where critics like lean one way specifically and then like. I heard there's some bad. there's some weird shit in Mute. Hell like, yeah! Like like this, not disturbing, but it's more like. I don't want to spoil what it is, because I already know what it is, because people just say, like, straight up, it's death! So I'm like, all right, cool. Um, some, it seems like it's it's trying to do something, but, uh, so they're trying to be progressive in a way, but they just end up being very offensive. That's what, that's gotcha. what I, that's what I gather from people's reactions towards it. So I haven't really been clamoring to see it now, because I'm a little... I love that director, and he's that means that that's his second bad movie in a row. I'm like, oh no. Uh, even though I didn't hate Warcraft, but it's 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 bad. It's on Netflix now, so fuck it. Yeah, but that's the problem. That's the problem with Netflix now. It's like it's on Netflix. Fuck it. But like, I'd rather have a good movie. I mean, they've had plenty of great movies that were Netflix originals. Like, there's a few last year we talked about, like 1922 and Gerald's Game, Bright, <laughs> Bright. <laughs> I, I, I love it. Uh, yo, give me the wizard, Holmes. <laughs> I really enjoyed that movie, by the way. I really did. Like, I, don't like think, a, I didn't think it was bad. No, it was bad, but I really enjoyed it. And, and I thought it was like... I thought it was mediocre. Give me that wiz- <laughs> wizard wand, yo. That's so stupid. I want to watch that movie right now. Um... But yeah, no, it's just like the last few movies. Whew, the Open House, I don't know if you've seen that. That was fucking trash. Um, of course, Cloverfield, we don't need to shit on that anymore, which you wouldn't anyway because you loved it. But um, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, speaking about movies, I guess we should talk about the Oscars, unless you want to talk about something else. Uh, Anything crazy going on in the box office this week? Oh yeah, we should talk about that. Uh, Well, Black Panther, shit. <laughs> it's Black- shitting on everything still. Yeah. Well, two movies came out. Or maybe three. No, there was three movies. How did uh, Game Night do? Game Night did okay. It did like $17 million, which yeah, It's getting good word of mouth. Yeah, I think it'll, it'll stay around a little bit. But Black Panther, whew! Annihilation didn't do so well, but I was expecting that. Well, Black Panther, actually, Annihilation did exactly what they were expecting it to do. Yeah, yeah. and it's not going to open so up good. in... It's not gonna open up in foreign countries though. At least most Which of them. Which is but but then the Netflix deal probably offset that too, so it might it might be doing fine. Yeah, and also I think it's coming out in China. So in Chinese people they they'll they'll watch something like that's out of nowhere, just out of nowhere it just becomes a popular thing, so who knows? Maybe they'll go, ooh, yeah, their market is fucking weird, dude. Yeah, it's really weird. You know the one of the biggest movies ever out there right now is like some some romantic comedy or something? I forgot what it's called, but it's the huge. The Big Sick. The Big Sick. They remade you imagine. it. They remade it's, it. It's it's seven hundred million out there. <laughs> no, I think some of them didn't make like two hundred million over there, and it was a Black Panther. It was something else. Uh, I can't remember what it was. Though. I should have looked it up. Uh, but yeah, no, Black Panther did, whew, did very well. It's I like made a whole video about that. We're starting to like lean into the 
the possibility of it do, outdoing Infinity War. It might be. I don't know. We'll see, man, because the, I, I think right now, when we get that next Infinity War trailer, it's going to feature Black Panther like a motherfucker. You know, <laughs> you know, well... I think that's what yeah, the, for, you, the story is going to be about. It's going to be about uh, Thanos going to Wakanda. <laughs> it's, that should be the subtitle. <laughs> Thanos goes to Wakanda. Yeah, it's definitely going to take a lot in, in yeah. Wakanda, but... um. I uh, guess it did have the money shot yeah. part right there. Oh god, that was um, a money shot over my face. Um, I, uh, I, you know, they were like immediately when that the first the first weekend they're like make another one, start it, make another one, start yeah. it, start it, start, start that it shit now. right now. Oh, hey Ryan, where are you going? Are you going to go do some other? No, you're not. You're doing another Black Panther, boy. Come here. Uh, let's go. I forget what discussion I was I was listening to, but they it might have been kind of funnies where uh. They mentioned that it's it's awesome that Black Panther's doing so well. It's it's gonna outdo Iron Man at this point for yeah. or, or did it already? Iron Man three it might outdo. Iron Man three uh, already passed. But when it comes to worldwide it might actually pass it. The highest grossing MCU movie is the Avengers. And that has a one point five billion. I don't right, know if it's gonna pass that. that. I don't, it's not passing that, but for single no. hero. Yeah. Well it's gonna it's gonna pass Avengers in America. It, it it's gonna maybe make seven hundred million dollars in in America, which Avengers is the highest grossing one in America alone, and it made like six hundred and like eleven. So for single hero, definitely, and for anything, any but, any superhero movie is the highest grossing superhero movie of all time in America. Yeah, and, and they mentioned that uh, it's great that Black Panther is doing this because now this is actually, even though it's not happening right now, yeah, it actually passes a baton from Robert Downey Jr. being the head of all marvel you know yeah and now black panther t'challa it, it, yeah it kind of passes it from like you know like now whenever the day ha- that comes that robert downey jr steps down as iron man yeah it gives the opportunity open to more people holding yeah. the torch of like the king like like obviously that's yeah, a funny pun the king but like being the like the, the top of marvel right yeah Robert Downey Jr. is the head of that still. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, how I they think... announced, that's how they announced the stupid <laughs> the week ahead thing with Robert Downey Jr.'s mm-hmm. Twitter. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. Where <laughs> to, uh, Robert Downey Jr. That was a Jr. great exchange, like, by the way. That they need to do yeah, more of that. Yeah, they nailed that because it was coming out a week before for everybody else besides us. But now it's just coming out worldwide on that day, which I'm sure everybody else is pissed. Like, ah, oh, we don't get a fuck a week before America. They always get it a week before us. For some reason, when it comes to Marvel, they're just like, screw it, release it everywhere else besides here. Fuck this place. Yeah, no, they need to do worldwide releases on that. I think yeah. that, that's something they because, need to start doing. Because this movie, I, I have a feeling, is going to be very, very spoilery. Like, there's, there's other movies where, like, there's a stinger or whatever, and it's like, oh, I don't want that spoiled. But this movie, I feel like a lot of people are going to die. And I don't know if a lot of people are going to die. I feel they're, like... They're better. No, no, no. I think this is, this, this is it being a part one. Yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be blue balling mostly until the next one. Yeah, I think someone's gonna die though. Like, oh, I wouldn't yeah. even be surprised if Captain America gets killed in this. No, I think they'll say that for part two. Maybe, but I thought maybe that would be the good like ending off point where it's just like Captain America dies and it ends like in a it'll in a very it'll be it'll be way. all the heroes kneeling in front of uh, Thanos, Thanos and he yeah. starts eating meaty mighty moeum. Yeah, hey, <laughs> what a bat <laughs> with the <laughs> infinity bat. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 a goblet that he uses. <laughs> he looks like Cap. <laughs> Shit in your pants yet? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be pee pee pants city real soon. <laughs> and then Iron Man goes in and punches Thanos, and Thanos puts him back down, and then he just crushes Ant Man. <laughs> <don't know. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> it's a vampire infinity bat. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a vampire fist. It's a vampire fist. Uh, oh, God. I didn't, I didn't realize Evangeline Lily was the uh, wasp. Yeah. Yeah, lost yeah, girl. Yeah, that's awesome. I know. She, have you seen her fucking arms? What do you mean? <laughs> Someone took a picture of her, like, I, I forget what show it was. She's um, skinnier. Right? Like, she had a dress on. Right. It, it was some carpet. <laughs> But she has, she's packing some guns, dude. Oh, okay. And and someone's like, dude, just fucking Wasp is just gonna punch the shit out of Thanos. That's how it's gonna. <laughs> yeah, end. that's good. Okay. That scene in the uh, Avengers trailer where uh, Thanos knocks the fuck out of Iron Man. It's gonna be like that, except for Thanos. That's Spider Man. No, it was no, it was Iron Man. I I'm like, seventy five percent sure that's Spider Man. 
Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it's in, in, his, in his Iron Man suit. It might be. Because <laughs> people, people keep saying that, yeah, Iron Man got knocked out, but that looks like Spider-Man with his new suit. I'm going to look it up right now. This, right. this has been a point of contention. I could be wrong. All right, let's see. But I, I feel like I, I, that is Spider-Man. All right. People can see what I'm looking at right now. I don't know when it is. I think it's like a little bit into the trailer, right? Uh, Yeah, it's it's right after he shows off his fist. All right, this is Iron Man. All right, let's see. Maybe it is. Let's see. All right, come on, punch his ass out. It might, I don't know. It might be. I don't know. But it looks like Iron Man's new suit. No, I think it's but Iron it's all, Man. That, that looks like, but that's Spider-Man's new suit too, though. No, it's, his suit's a little bit more brighter and stuff. And it, it would make uh, sense for Spider-Man looking. being that he was the one that like flew up there. But Iron Man's there in the beginning. He's also in that same, you know, in the beginning it's, where it's Tony Stark and he's like holding his hands like this. He's in the same like world. Looking place. Yeah, but he also has that. He also like has that look behind moment. All right. Well, we'll see. All right. Tune in. I think I think it's Iron Man because it is, and <laughs> he thinks it's Spider Man. Even though it, it doesn't does look like Spider Man. I, I could see maybe it being Spider Man, but I think it's Iron Man, and I hope it is because he deserves that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves a, a couple more actually. So I can't. I hope he just like go goes on the ground at him and just starts beating the shit out of him while he's on the ground. That'd be great. That <laughs> says motherfucker. <laughs> he starts kicking him, taking um, his shit I, off and shitting on it. So since we're on a Marvel talk, actually, we should do the one last thing where uh, Marvel announced uh, six new movies, but they haven't said they they announced six new movie dates. Right. Any idea what they, what they could be? Uh, I'm sure one of them's gonna be Avengers, uh, Infinity War Part Two. Wait, did they say the dates? Yeah. So let me let me get the dates here in a second. Okay. I think uh, Black Panther Two will be one of them. That's for damn sure. Hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, I could see I could see them bringing back an Iron Man series in some way. Like if if Robert Downey Jr. is down for it, but we'll see. I guess they could do like one last Iron Man film because the third one. All right. You want to give me the dates? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so May seventh, twenty twenty one. Okay. July thirtieth, twenty twenty one. All right, wait, hold on. All right, May that would be Avengers. That's Avengers. That that's a like this one was coming out in May until they decided not to. I think I think that f- that first one's Avengers, and then they usually lead up an Avengers with a standalone. So I think the next one would be either like a Black Panther film or maybe uh um I guess Captain Marvel would have already had her movie by then. So maybe Captain Marvel too. People are saying potentially Black Widow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe just a new character uh, too. Um, November fifth, twenty twenty one. Damn. All right, two, three of them. I guess that's actually. I think that's like the formula now. You have one in May, one in July, and one in November. That's what happened last year. You had um, Guardians of the Galaxy, May, Spider Man July, and then Thor in November. But now we also get a February one. And this year, we would have had that until fucking Avengers screwed them. That's April, July, and I think November is, um... Uh, that's Venom. No, that's October, anyway. That's Venom, anyway. Which might be a part of the MCU. They, they, they're, there's rumors it might. But, um... The people, are, people are saying that uh, Disney probably also bumped up uh, Avengers to, av- to avoid Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool and Star Wars, they said. Because they don't want their own... Who gives a shit about Star Wars? Star Wars is going to fucking do okay. Yeah, no, fuck Star Wars. But (laughs) Deadpool is definitely going to eat at some of... uh, Obviously, it's not going to fucking take out Avengers, but it'll chip away at Avengers a bit, so they want to give it an extra week. Then they should move Star Wars also, because that's a week after Deadpool, and people still going to be seeing Deadpool. I think 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 they're trying to hide Star Wars. If they're going to hide it, then they should at least put it in a like a week after uh, or two weeks after Deadpool because I don't think anything comes out because originally Deadpool was going to come out in the beginning of June and then they moved it to the middle of May. I, I like this idea. I like how they're the opposite of video games. Yeah, I know, <laughs> like, right? That fucking just moved earlier. Yeah. Clearful cool. Paradox? Fuck it, watch it now. Fuck it, watch it now. <laughs> Imagine like the next Last of Us. They, they Like Last of Us Part 3. Fuck it, you can play it now. I'm, tell- I'm telling you now, dude. I'm calling it. Your name is the fucking Clearful movie. Your name is <laughs> That would be amazing. That's, I'm not fucking lying. And they could make it work. So I, I guess it'll just be the the story of your name, and then at the end it just rises. The camera rises above the clouds, and the Cloverfield monster jumps. 
<laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. No, you're right. J.J. Abrams <laughs> is directing a live action Your Name movie. Your Name follows your name, all these fucking... The, the Your Name paradox. <laughs> I'm telling <laughs> you. Your are ten, ten Your Name late. <laughs> I can't wait. I tell you, dude, I, I'm Your calling that particle. right now. I, I, I put my stake in that. And I was like, this is actually glorified. Like, watch. God name particle. Fucking watch. <laughs> it totally fucking fits. It fits in 100%. Oh, fuck. I, I hope so. It's like, that'll be the one that, like, they say, screw paradox. This is the one where we really explain it. And they and they jump in the times and shit. And because they he jumped in the time shit... This is how I explain every movie, by the way. Uh, to, he used the time stuff. Uh, he opened a portal. <laughs> because, no, because, yeah, because... The, the oh, fucking... the thing, the meteor that blew up everything, right? Yes. It was a meteor. Yes. That yep. was the Cloverfield monster. Yep. But, uh, by the way, spoilers for your name. Fuck off. These are so vague that you would have no idea why we're talking Spoiler, about Spoiler, your name's a Cloverfield movie. <laughs> well, no, I was saying because we're talking about meteor. I know, I know, I know, but... <laughs> Not because the next the next your name movie is gonna be the a, cover has a fucking thing on it whatever that's true but all right fine um, everybody, everybody dies sorry you know at the end of the movie it's like seeking a friend for the, the end of the world spoilers for that movie too <laughs> fuck this is spoil every movie we've ever seen uh, we should have like a one they, minute they, segment they every good they, they they find. The guy that was shooting at the phone booth. Oh, you know... <laughs> you talk about phone uh, booth, He right? got out. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about phone booth, right? Because they didn't find him. Oh, I guess they did... This is a spoiler. See, I, I almost spoiled it. <laughs> Alright, let's spoil everything. Alright, all right, well, let's have it. When you watch right, well, that <laughs> when you watch that movie, you hear Kiefer Sutherland's voice, and then they show this some guy. I'm like, that ain't fucking Kiefer Sutherland. Get out of my face. Try yeah, a right. fake me of the fake Kiefer guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, no, but I, I don't. Go, going back to whatever we're fucking talking about for all this, uh, uh, I, I, I don't. I think Disney doesn't isn't confident in Solo. Okay. Yeah. So they're, just gonna, they're gonna throw it out there and just hope everyone just fucking. Yeah. Doesn't think about it. You know, I hope it's a failure. Yeah, they I, I want to. I want some. Yeah. They get humbled. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't want. I don't want fucking uh, Obi Wan movie. I, you heard they're gonna do a fucking Job of the Hut. You know that fat piece of shit. And that one movie, he was in it for fucking fifteen. Are they minutes. making uh? Like, who's that fucking character that everyone likes? Boba Fett. I hope not, because Boba Fett's a fucking loser. So <laughs> he is. Everybody thinks, oh, he looks cool, but he doesn't do anything in those original Star Wars movies. He stands and then gets eaten by a monster. That's all he fucking does. And everybody's like, oh, everybody's disappointed by the Phasma character who doesn't do anything and gets fucking killed. Well, that's what happened with Boba Fett. Everybody loves him, though. It's sexist, I say. It's sexist. No, it's just stupid. Fucking Star Wars fans are dumb. Anyway. No, they're fucking stupid. If you like Star so, Wars, you're so, dumb. Fuck you. Anyway, Oscars. That- no, 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 no. We should talk about the rest of the releases because he didn't. That's what we were talking no, about. We were talking we about. Also, the, we also didn't talk about the last three movies in the Marvel slate are going to be February 18, 2022. Oh, I know what that'll be. I think that'll be Black Panther. Yeah, because Black History Month. Yeah, and they did very well this in this month. So. Uh, next one's uh, May month, 6, 2022. May 6, uh oh. Uh, you know what? I'll, actually, you know what? I'm going to take back what I said about November. I, I think that'll be Spider-Man for, uh, Spider-Man 2, I guess, by the way. I just want to take that back. But Spider-Man May... graduation. Yeah, graduate. Um, <laughs> Spider-Man grad school. Oh, great. Um... Spider-Man student debts. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man starting a small business. <laughs> Spider-Man bankrupt. <laughs> Spider-Man 401k. <laughs> Spider-Man living with mom. Sp- <laughs> Spider-Man virgin. <laughs> oh, God. Spider-Man, Spider-Man single dad. <laughs> Man, Sp- these Marvel movies are getting fucking weird. <laughs> Sp- Spider-Man g- chlamydia. Jesus. That's a dark one. That's the rated R one. You've uh, never seen Spider-Man the last one so they have realistic. confirmed is July 29, 2022. 
Yeah, see, they're they're sticking with May and July. Those are the two months, definitely. They love those May and Julys. Except for this year. Yeah, well, they fucking cucked out. That's not... Fucking Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Robert. Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. I mean, that's only because of Deadpool, I think. I, I, I do believe that. And maybe Solo if they want to make some money. You know? Because <laughs> if you have both Avengers and Deadpool out, then... You know. But, Deadpool, I mean, Avengers will be out one week more at, the, at that point. So, I don't know. But, uh... I'm sure they want to make money off Solo. It's not like they just say, fuck it, whatever, we spent like $300 million on it, screw it, who cares? And we lost money, we'll make that much on the next, I don't know, stupid-ass Ant-Man movie. But, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the other ones would be. Like the, the July one? What do you think that would be? Um, that, might be that might be Spider-Man. Eh, no, I think they'd do Spider-Man early. Like, I, I think they'd do it maybe next... The first July you said twenty twenty one. Because I think five let me, years. Let me wait. let me look and see what some of these guesses were. Yeah, I think maybe another Doctor Strange. See another Doctor uh, Strange. Yeah, people were definitely saying another Doctor Strange was somewhere in there. I feel like there'll be a new character though. Like they can't just keep doing those movies and then that's it. Like they're introducing Captain Marvel next year, um, and then what else? Isn't there another character they said they're bringing? I forgot. Fuck. Well, the Inhumans, that's fucking done. <laughs> like, they made a shitty-ass TV show. And I, I, think I got it. They try to get rid of those posters on uh, on Regal's thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one you liked it. You were saying other Captain America? Yeah, okay. Captain America, the the last chapter. I don't know if I... The last key. I don't know. Um, oh, Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> they showed him in a couple of movies before, so maybe. That'd be great. Hey, hey, if they can make Howard the Duck not only work, but make a lot of money, then they could do anything. <laughs> they could do Black Panther, they could do Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant-Man. I mean, if they make uh, Guardians, a... Guardians is going to happen. Oh, yeah, Guardians 3. Well, yeah, that, that already got announced for 2019, I think, right? Oh, okay. I think so. Or maybe 2020. So that one already got announced. But, uh... Yeah, I guess Doctor Strange would make sense, but I, th- I think that would make more sense for, like, next year, because I don't think they want to have too much time in between sequels, because Doctor Strange right. came out in 2016. If it comes out 2021, that's five years, so... Do you think another Thor is going to happen? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so, but that last one did extremely well, and everybody liked it, so... Yeah, I could see another Ragnarok style yeah, coming and, out. And Iron Man, the reason why I think we didn't get another one, at least not yet, is because Iron Man 3 wasn't, like... It it did extremely well, but it wasn't extremely well received. Like right, so they're giving him a break, and then yeah. they'll come back with him. Yeah, and they keep putting him in all these freaking movies anyway. Spider Man, Civil War, freaking. Whatever. I don't even think you need another Iron Man, do you? No, not really. I mean, we know his story, we get it, and if we just see him in little bits like Avengers and stuff, I think that's like perfect for now. And he makes so much money just from those anyway. So he makes like what three hundred billion dollars at every movie he's in. I think I think if they're gonna wrap up a story with him, I think then go out with it. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think you need another Iron Man. Uh, and then I the the Fox deal hasn't solidified yet, so I don't think any of this is uh, X Men. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't think so either. But who knows? Maybe they're keeping their options. Like maybe they don't even have movies to put in those slots yet because it's three years away and they. God, I would love. A Marvel Studios Silver Surfer. That'd be cool. I'd take Silver Surfer. I mean, it'd be goofy as fuck, but I'll take it. I mean, they made Guardians work, so why not? You know, a big tree dude, and a raccoon. Like, why can't a Silver guy? I, th- I like their, surfboard. I like their more, their more campy shit. Which yeah, is funny, I do too. I hate, I hate campy shit in general. But yeah, I do too. I, I... Oh, you there? I didn't think his controller died again. What a failure. What a failure. Disappointed in him. See that on my internet went down. What a disappointment this man is. Call ended. I'm so disappointed in him right now. I can't believe he's done this. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe right. you've done this. Anyway. Right, what else we got? Uh, you like campy and you know, like shitty things. I don't know. 
Fucking anyway. I'm totally uh, get out's gonna win. So thank you for joining. Yeah, there you go. Get out's gonna win. All right, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get to this because we're about forty minutes in this bitch. So. Well, it was gonna be a short episode, so we had to, we had to we had to fluff it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, gotta fluff it up, dog. Word, but uh, yeah, no, Marvel's great and all. Let's talk about the Oscars. Black Panther's doing crazy. <laughs> yeah, Black know, Panther's usual. doing usual. Black Panther box office, Marvel talk. Yeah, watch it again. A lot of Marvel we'll talk. We feel I, I we feel like such fucking cucks a bit. Marvel cucks. Uh, it's funny because I don't even like Marvel. <laughs> 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 yeah, fuck Marvel. <laughs> Let's talk about Phantom Third. Nah, anyway, Iron Man Three. All right. All right. Well, Let's... first off, I, I talk about Iron Man Three, even though I've never seen it over Phantom Thread, which I also haven't seen any day of the week. <laughs> yeah, Phantom Thread just came out, so there's a reason. Yeah. Um, Iron Man Three. So, be- so, so we're gonna go down the list. So starting with yeah. Best Picture. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight up Best Picture. All right. So nominees for this. No Marvel. So there's some there's some Marvel in here. Yeah, yeah. Lady Bird's part of the MCU. Um, best picture, call me by your name. No. Uh, did you shit die again? Good. No. All right, I'll just I'll just I'll, I'm just gonna list off the nominations, boyo. Uh, call me by your name. Darkest Hour. Dunkirk. Get out. Lady Boyd. Phantom Thread. The Post. Mm, the Shape of Water. And three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. So the Post is going to win. Yeah, yeah. Everybody loves the Post. So immediately... Let me see that paper. Hour, Darkest Hour and the Post are not going to win. No. I can promise you those. No. Actually, you know what? I wish I could, like, edit this Variety website and just, like, immediately start taking shit off. There used to be that little option. I forget how to do it. Remember yeah, that back in the day? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I used to do that, too, where I edit a website. You edit someone's tweet? Yeah. Yeah. Oh look, it is real. <laughs> look, I didn't know that. Um, um. So right. Phantom Thread either. I don't think that's gonna win. Yeah, Phantom Thread. Uh, I think I'll win like costume design and shit like that. No. Yeah. For best picture though, just, just keep best, best picture. Best picture. No, I don't think Phantom Thread, The Post, or Darkest Hour. I think. I think the rest are feasible. Yeah. They're all, the Dunkirk. Feasible. Dunkirk. Dunkirk probably the bottom of those list of that list there. Yeah, I'd say which Dunk- sucks. I would I would fucking love that, but yeah, that's sad. But uh, call me by your name. I think that's also close to the bottom. So let's let's see if we can do this a fun way. All right. Yeah, so let, let's start let's start striking these out from okay. the bottom to the top. Okay. All right. So you want to do so, like a like an like elimination style. Okay. We'll make a make a little game of it. All right. Let's make a game. All right, here we go. Okay. Ready? Yeah, you want to play? Again? No, you. Yeah, he won't play again. Where's Jigsaw? <laughs> I'm fucking serious. Don't laugh at me. All right, let's do it. Anyway, I don't want to. I want right. to get done with you. Weakest one is. Uh, I think out of these, honestly, I think Darkest Hour, but you'd probably say The Post. But either way, they're both yeah. out. Well, all right, we should say this right here. Me and him haven't seen Call Me by Your Name and Phantom Third yet. I'm gonna see Phantom Third probably tomorrow. Uh, I must be calling you by your name on Saturday. Yeah, I'll probably see you on Saturday too, because uh, yeah, you know, two really good movies in a row I can't do, so I have to watch Phantom Third and Death Wish tomorrow. The only possibility I forgot to have to do something tomorrow night. The only possibility I have for Phantom Thread is after work, and I'm absolutely not gonna watch Phantom Thread after work because that's gonna be why not take a snooze. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> You'll be a watch, Phantom. I'll but... watch like two scenes of it. Then... <laughs> You'll be a Phantom oh, by the end of the movie. Yeah. So, okay, so for sure, so I, I knock out Darkest Hour. Okay, so Darkest Hour is number, t- I guess, number 10. Oh, you know, I guess. I'm, I'm, I doing guess. The, I'm, I'm doing that. We don't we don't need to. I just, I Would wanna. you agree with that? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Number nine is definitely The Post. Because <laughs> I, be I like, I like a, no, no. I like, I like Darkest Hour more than The Post, but when it comes to how they're going to do this. I think Darkest Hour is the bottom it of the sucks list. You didn't like the post. I like the post. No, a I lot. did. I did like it. I just like Darkest Hour, but I just like it, the it performance. Also... Gary Oldman was so fucking good in Darkest Hour. Every time he's but on screen, was I was the only thing that was good. But he was in movie. it for the fucking like at least eighty percent of the movie. So every time he was on screen, I was like, oh, this guy's great. He's so good. Uh, see, I, I liked, I liked the tension in in the post. Like I, I <laughs> as a journalism, I, I was originally going into journalism. So like that, that it, it was a little like. It was cool to see the ethics of journalism pop yeah. out in there. No, I, I like that but too. I really did. But, but there's like a, a list. Let's, to be fair, either. Yeah, I don't. Florida Project fucking should have been on here. Yeah, Florida Project was better than both of these movies. 
Definitely. Yeah, I agree. It's not even my favorite movie of the year, but I think like when compared to stuff like Darkest Hour and the Post. Well, we'll talk about it a movie. little bit because we haven't got your thoughts on that, so we'll talk yeah. about that more when uh yeah when we talk about supporting it. actor comes up. Yeah, that's the only thing it's nominated for, right? Is it not nominated yep. for screenplay? At all? Mm, no, I, I think. don't think so. Not even cinematography. That sucks. Uh no, it's not. And that's that fucking. Sucks. That's bullshit. Well, we'll see. I can't remember the nominations. No, it wasn't ones. for screen. I know Blade Runner is uh, up there. Which. All right. So anyway, so Darkest <laughs> Hour's out. The post yeah. is out. Yeah. I think I think we go Fan Thread out now. Yeah, Fan Thread's gone. So. Yeah, Fan Thread. Uh, Dunzo. It hurts, but Dunkirk's out. I don't know. I think uh, I think before Dunkirk, I would say something like uh. Lady Bird. I don't know. I'd say, but like, call me by your name before Dunkirk. I, I think the I think Oscar voters will vote for Dunkirk Appreciate more. Appreciate Dunkirk. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So watch, call me by your name's gonna win. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'm always wrong. But, What's uh, that quote that you always say? <laughs> Some motherfuckers about... always trying to ice skate. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what a <if> blade one. <laughs> oh man. Uh, that would be great. <laughs> uh, no, what's that? What's that quote from what? Uh, Carrie Fisher. It's it's, a, it's about it's, family. It's a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about family. That's what's so powerful. It's about good cinematography. That's what's so powerful. <laughs> that's what's so powerful. It's about right, he really he though. really was on a plane, and that's what's really so powerful about it. <laughs> Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. All right, so Dunkirk is is out, but. It's After close that. to the top five. All right, I think now if we're doing like <sighs> the, I, I'm doing, I'm not doing like a top five. Well, I am technically, but here's I'm just the thing: listing it so I can remember which ones we took out at what moments. Right. Um, what do you think? So, I want to hope. I am hoping. I, I think it's it's possible. I, Get Out might be a sleeper. Yeah. You know. You know what though? What? If Black Panther came out earlier. I think Get Out would have been pumped up a little bit higher. You mean like if they kind of swapped release dates or something? Or? No, 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 no. I think with oh, all... Okay. with Because Black Panther is a fucking... Especially like a black culture phenomenon. Yeah. I think if that came out like around the time they were voting, right. I think Get Out would have stuck people's minds a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I still think it's possible. I, I think Get Out... I mean, Get Out has won a lot of awards already. So there is a possibility, but the uh, landscape is just it just it's just hitting. Did you hear? <clears throat> it's hitting hard right now. Did you hear like a lot of Oscar voters are ignoring Get Out? I, I, I read an article about that. Like a lot of them are just not even watching it, which is bullshit. I don't even. How can you be an Academy voter and not v- watch at how least do they know all they're the not watching it? At least watch all the Best Picture winners. I mean, not how, how do they nominees. know they're not watching it? Uh, I don't know. I just read an article where the, like someone said that like a lot of people are just ignoring it. I don't know how they know that, but I wouldn't be surprised because there's other times where you could tell like people haven't watched certain movies. Like certain people that are confirmed to be Oscar voters have said like they didn't see that movie or this movie. So that's why uh, I you found it on IndieWire. Is it IndieWire? Probably. I don't know. I just saw yeah, it. I follow IndieWire on uh, Twitter, so probably. But uh, I looked at the article. I clicked on. it. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me! And I just clicked off because. Some articles just make me mad. Hey, how are you gonna how are you gonna be on Academy? You're gonna vote for Best Picture without seeing all the Best Picture nominees. At least watch those. That's the big award. That's why there's ten of the motherfuckers, or nine, or ten, whatever. How many? How many? One, two, three, four. Oh, there's nine. I thought there was ten for some reason. I don't know why I'm doing a top ten then. <laughs> In a vulture interview with the diverse group of fourteen new members from across Academy's branches. One new voter took the temperature of the larger voting yeah, nice. group poll. I had multiple conversations with you know, longtime Academy members who were like, this is not an Oscar film, said the new member. And I'm like, well, that's bullshit. Watch it. Yeah. Honestly, a few of them were, had not even seen it. They were saying that. So it's a spelling that's not important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're not going to watch it. All right. Well, I think Get Out is a movie that we wouldn't have necessarily thought of as an Academy movie two years ago. That's true. No, I, we, we wouldn't have thought of that a day before the movie came out. <laughs> Like when the trailer came out, the trailer everybody was like, "What the fuck is this?" I even did a reaction people, where I'm like, "I don't know what the fuck." Huh? How many people vote in this though? Oh 
shit, a lot of people. I don't remember exactly. I think around like two, three hundred or something like that. Not exactly okay, sure. Okay, so like a small group of people is not going to like. Yeah, I don't think it's. A, yeah, but even if it's like that, could ruin someone because there's nine movies to vote for, and then if there's two, three hundred, if like ten people said, "Nah, screw, get out," even though it might be one, like they might think it is the best, but they're not going to see it because it's some genre movie. Then I don't know. I think it's still shitty. Even if it doesn't really help in the long run, I still think it's shitty. Like, I think every everybody that's voting in the Oscars should watch every single... Be- at least Best Picture nominee. <laughs> that's the big award. I'm sorry. It is. And usually when you watch all of those, that means you also watch most of the... At least most of the uh, Best Actor and Best Actress and, of course, Best Director and stuff like that nominees, too. Um, most of the time. Sometimes you'll get, a uh, like, a meh movie and then... It's nominated for best leading actor or something, but for the most part, it's all the same stuff, you know. But uh, I don't know. Anyway, we that's have... that's weird because I mean, yeah, we're getting to that point where the older audience is gonna appreciate Phantom Thread. Yeah. And the younger audience is gonna appreciate Lady Bird and Get Out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't appreciate Lady Bird, but uh. <laughs> I <can't. laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I hate ugh. Do you hate it, though? I don't hate it. I think it's the most good movie I've ever seen. The most good movie. That was good. That was good. Good job there, Gerwig Girl. Good job, girl. everyone. Left and <laughs> forgot about that movie. Yeah, good job. You made a movie about a woman. It's sitting at, like, my number 45 on my list of last year. What's ahead of it? Is Kingsman ahead of <laughs> Downsizing. it? Downsizing. <laughs> no regrets. Downsizing. Absolutely none. Speaking of the it's, MCU, it's, it's are you directly, looking forward to a new Ant-Man movie? It's directly ahead of Happy Death Day, right behind Downsizing. Is it is it behind the Pikachu movie that came out? Uh, yes. Uh, Happily. Is it wait? Is it above War for Planet of Apes? Nope. All right, good. I gotta, I gotta edit some of this stuff. See, like, I don't know. Lady Bird is a is a really really good movie, but I don't know. It's not. I don't think it's all, all that. All that and a bag of chips. Yeah, like "Call Me by Your Name" seems like a movie I'd I'd like more, even though it seems like also a coming of age film. Um, but that one makes more sense to me f- to be a Best Picture nominee. Again, I haven't watched it yet, but it just looks like maybe a good love story. You know, Lady Bird's not really that. It's like there's a love story there, but it's like you know, like it's, not it's, not real uh, love. You know, I hate I, I hate get to it. like I hate to to rag on it like trying to say like it's it's nothing special because like i'm i'm a person that i like stories that just kind of dip you into someone's life really quick and dip you right back out like right. you don't need someone's origin you don't need anyone's it's, it's hey this is this person living this life all right you're done yeah but it just there was no charm to it it was like yeah there, i mean there, it was there's... a movie it was a well shot every actor and actress did, did stellar mm-hmm. but it was like there's so many more incredible experiences that I've had. You know, it reminds me of. You know, I don't think you saw it, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of Ingrid Goes West. I don't know if you've seen it. No, it, but it, I know it, 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 it's not similar at all in, when it comes to story. But it's like, it's a movie about a, a woman that has her problems. Towards the end of the movie, she might not have resolved those problems really technically, but they, maybe she had some sort of a change. Yeah, you know, I'm not spoiling anything for Angry Goes West, but believe me. But because uh, that movie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out there. That movie's ridiculous. I love it. But go ahead. I'm, put, I'm gonna put this out there, and you're gonna agree with me. Cloverfield Paradox is better. Well, I I, I actually no. fucking believe that. No. Uh, yeah, no, that's I 100 percent believe that. Okay. Uh, Brace Me Bear is a much better movie portraying a growing up story than. Yeah. Brigsby Bear treats it in a way like if uh, if this really happened, like a crazy person abducted a baby, kept him away from every kind of like thing of human, any sort of humanity outside of like a wall or a, or a bunker or whatever, and then brought him outside. And I feel like that's how that person would react, you know, like where they're very single minded. They want that one thing or whatever. And. And they're open to changes, but not if it really interferes with that one thing, you know? Like, he's open to go see this and do that, but if it interferes with him watching this one thing or doing this one thing, 
then I don't know. I I I feel but, like that makes more sense as a coming of age film to me. Lady I Bird agree. was just like Lady Bird. I get it. It was a, it was very much about a a daughter and her mother. That's a that's the relationship, and it was very realistic. I get that. But it wasn't the most interesting yeah. story. <laughs> it wasn't interesting. It was. It was. There was. But again, like I don't mean to knock that because I, I like the idea that a filmmaker can like just take someone. Here's this person's life. Maybe it's not the most fucking like balls to the wall. Shit's going down because like in a, in an adolescent's mind, you know, yeah. every small problem is the biggest problem. Right. Exactly. And that's that's the cool thing about growing up stories, right? Is that like these these little it, it's mountains out of molehills. But I don't know. I just I just think. There was nothing special. I think I think stuff like a Brisbane Bear yeah. amps, amps it up enough to make it like okay, this is someone that's like you. You saw him struggling to grow up, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. And, and there's a lot and of yeah, weird like, stuff in that like, movie. It's de- it definitely supposed to be a comedy, and Lady Bird is also, but it's like a, like Brisbane Bear is a different type of comedy. You know? Right, right, right. But but it, the same kind of like premise, and yeah. I, and again, like I think everyone did did super well. I'm I'm glad Greta Gerwig. Got her nomination because mm-hmm. I think yeah, she got so. she got shafted at uh at the Golden Globes. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with her <laughs> being nominated. I'm just saying, you know, it's not a, it's not the best movie out there. So no, hundred percent. No. Uh, no. Also, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I might win too. I'm gonna derail you for one second. Okay. Derail sure. this whole conversation. We're gonna sidetrack for a little bit. Okay. So. I'm pregnant. I knew it. I, I don't know if you it. saw it, but uh. Dread Central, you you read them right? Yeah, occasionally. They uh, they have a giant post about why A Quiet Place is a Clarefield movie. Oh God! <laughs> 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 All right, fuck the best picture. We we're not even done with the best picture <laughs> nominee. We went back to Cloverfield. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a quick screenshot. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the way this podcast goes. I like it, dude. I like it, dude. Yeah. Uh, let me show you a quick screenshot. Just yeah. to show you. I, something I, that... I'm glad you like it because I think we're the only two that listen to this. No, and we only listen to it because we're in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like 60 views. So I'm hey, if you're if you're listening to this part right here, about an hour into this, type in Press the comment mark. section. Uh, Clo- Cloverfield is mad dope. Put that. No, oh, that's too many. That's too long. People are not going to do it. All right, Cloverfield uh, dope. <laughs> just, just, just type in gore. Uh, type in gore, but make sure the G is lowercase and the O R capital. And put a one. Yeah, put a one, three spaces, and then a one, and then a period, <laughs> and then an exclamation. Point. And then Braille type in. Yeah. Yo. Then translate from Korean to English. Uh, wow, this sure is good potatoes. <laughs> but you have to show your work. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at that! Look at that! If you want, if you want to pull that picture up for the video. All right, hold on. Let me see. Is it? Is you sending me on Facebook? Yeah. Oh God, I hate Facebook. Oh God, I hate it. All right, let me see. Yeah, it takes so fucking long to fucking load. It's pissing me off. Ah! Hurry up! Just sending me through Skype. Come on, motherfucker! Show me that shit! Oh my God, are you serious? All right, here it goes. Finally. What? COVID. Oh, because... Alright. Alright. I, I get it. Is this the second trailer for A Quiet Place? That you see this? I don't know. Okay, because I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing something like that in the A Quiet Place trailer. Okay, for people confused... <laughs> because I haven't shown it yet. I'm confused too. And you wanted you want to leave it out? Just Adrian, Adrian just derailed the whole fucking thing. <laughs> 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 so we can look at some fucking. We're talking about labor, dude. I need, I need to spice. Well, it up. no, we were done with talking about labor. I need to spice it up, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's talk, let's talk about a series that might or might not be dead. Let's go. All right. So there's a there's a formation for people that can't see because they're fucking stupid. There's a formation right here. I'm looking at it right now on my OBS. All right. <laughs> In this quiet place trailer, look at it. All right, look at it, fuckers. By the way, you need to charge your phone. Um, it's charging right now, actually. Okay. The, oh yeah, I see. It has the no? Actually, no. 
It's not I'm charging not now. Doing it. I'm doing it now. Oh, okay, good. You better hurry up. Uh, the most intriguing clues point to potentially concrete connections with Tin Clue for Lane. Here's the Tin Clue for Lane monster, and here's a fucking bunch of bushes. <laughs> 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 this is fucking stupid. Oh, there, there, there's a whole there's a whole long uh, post about it. If if a Quiet uh, Place is also a chlorophyll movie, <laughs> but how awesome. how it, awesome? <laughs> yes. What, how what would this you're gonna you know what's gonna happen? Ten quiet. You're gonna walk into a quiet place. It's gonna pop in with the title, and then a quiet a place is gonna disappear. It's gonna say a quiet Cloverfield. <laughs> a a quiet. That's retarded. If it says a quiet Cloverfield. Oh, a Cloverfield place. A cl- <laughs> that's stupid too. <laughs> uh, it, the, the article and last just last thing before we go right back, and uh, the article says, uh. I guess it's leading to another article <clears throat> right? Uh, saying it points out how movies like The Mist, Super 8, and Colossal with minor tweaks could also be colorful movies. Colossal. Um, the Mist, I could see. But, like, a- at this point, anything could be a Cloverfield movie. Like, I love it! <laughs> no, I mean, like, if you're just going to make it be a monster, then Godzilla could be a fucking Cloverfield movie. There you go. Yeah. Saw so that Godzilla movie a couple of years ago? God, it's Cloverfield. That's Cloverfield. No, it's Godzilla. No, that's Cloverfield. <laughs> Clover, Clovey in a different universe. He looks different. He looks like Godzilla. There's no copyright laws in this fucking world. The greatest showman. The greatest showman. <laughs> well, there is a monster in there. You know? Those right with those you white racists. The people. No, the white racists. Who, 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 who did you think I meant? See, I'm not, I'm not a horrible person like you. Alright? So anyway. No, I'm not going to segue to something horrible. That's what you think I'm going to say. I don't do that. But we should talk about the Oscars. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Back. Uh, uh, is there another uh, movie that's gonna turn into Cloverfield? Like they say, ah, this movie's not gonna do well. Fuck it. Imagine they like take Annihilation because it didn't do well, and they re-release it, but they put more Cloverfield in it. That'd be nice. <laughs> this a bitch. <laughs> Three billboards outside Cloverfield. <laughs> Is it gonna be an awkward part where the Francis shape, McDormand? The shape of That's where that monster came from. In shape of water. Oh, it's a, it came out of the prick hole of the Cloverfield monster. <laughs> Just squirted out of him. Because remember, the Cloverfield monster in the original Cloverfield is a baby, but he was down in the in the crack of the earth for a very long time. Uh, so he's a water monster. Think about that. Anyway. Oh so... shit! My fidget spinner. <laughs> I think I, I don't think Get Out's gonna win that if people are being bitches about it. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't think so either. I would love. I would. Nothing will get me more happy than Correct. Get Out winning. Nothing will make me more pleased than myself. If besides Get Out being a chlorophyll movie, that'd yeah. be great. Oh my god, that's why he's telling him Get Out. Fuck. Get Out, man. Oh, because you know, remember, remember the poster for Ten Clo for Lane where it says not every mon- uh, uh, there's monster monsters take many forms. That could be like Get Out. Because they're all white and evil and monsters. You know? So. Get it? Hello? <laughs> do you get it? <laughs> Alright, so what do we have What do we have left? We have, uh... Alright, we got, um... <sighs> Hold on. I'm, I'm just, I'm, like, on the fly putting this shit in there. Because I'm not Shape of water this. and three billboards, I think, is left? I'm not, I'm not editing this shit. <laughs> it's just... Why would you? It's a good question. Uh, let's see. Call Me By Your Name is number six. All right. So with the ones we have left are Get Out. I guess we could put Get Out there because I don't know. I doubt. Doubt it's going to win. So the last three we have is Shape of Water, Three Billboards, and uh, Lady Bird. Oh, fuck that. Lady Bird's out. All right. Lady Bird's out. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So last one. I put Get Out over that, but I, I can see. All right. We can that. put Get Out over that. I don't, you know, yeah, maybe. put that. All right, screw it. Let's switch it around. Ah, fuck. Who cares? Whatever. And then, uh... Lady Boyd? I think we're both going to agree that three boards taking it. I I think so. Shape of Water won a few awards, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say but three billboards is taking it. But it could be a fucking, um... A coup. Be, a, a coup. <laughs> it, it could be a coup. That's Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack wins. Yeah. Well, in the background, I have the box set for Samurai Jack. So. Uh, oh, it's knocking down right now. Let's prove it's real. Hold on. Oh, it's falling. Oh, I just fell. <laughs> oh, no, everything's broken. Oh, no, it fell. 
Oh, it definitely fell. I didn't just hold it and then make it look like it was falling. Except I was holding it so it didn't get damaged because wow. I, spent, I spent $80 on that fucking box set. <laughs> make sure it's okay. All right. All right, let me put it back. Hold on. Give me a second. Make sure it looks good. There you go. Hold on. Give me a second. There you go. Oh. Oh, I got it like in the perfect angle where there's no glare. Oh, it's perfect. Oh my god. Anyway, let's talk about this. Uh, three billboards I think is going to win. Yeah, me too. Yeah. All right, so let's get through the the rest of this. <laughs> Damn it. All right, so actually, I guess for best picture, because we wrote them down, I guess this is how we would rank them in a way, like of uh, worthiness. Uh, Darkest Hour would be gone immediately. The Post, Phantom Thread, Call Me By Your Name, Dunkirk, Lady Bird. I just typed Lady. I didn't even put Bird. Uh, Get Out, <laughs> Shave of Water, and Three Billboards. So there you go. That's what I typed out. Um, yep. All right, let's talk about lead actor. I think all right. It, I think it's a little obvious, but... Uh, Denzel's out. Denzel's done. Get out. You're just... Get out. Speaking of get, get out, out I, I think Daniel Kaluuya is probably out, too. Yeah. Yeah. Then I think Timothy Chalamet is out after that. So it'd really yep. be up to Daniel Day-Lewis and Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman's taking it. Yeah, but Daniel Day-Lewis is like the Meryl Streep of of men. <laughs> Like I, I, he doesn't have a movie every year, but every time he's he's he has a movie, he's nominated, and most of the time he wins. No, so, no, you know, give it to Gary Oldman. Yeah, all right. You say Gary Oldman, right? I'm gonna say it's gonna be an upset, and it's gonna be Daniel Day Lewis. Okay. It's not gonna happen, but I'm just gonna say it because I want to be different. Who knows? Maybe I'll write. Probably not. Watch, you're gonna make fun of me for it when it happens. You'll be like, oh, remember when you said fucking Daniel Day fucking idiot was going to win? Ha, huh, loser. I'm already predicting hey. it. You're going to wake up in a cold sweat. <laughs> the next morning. I'm like, oh, how, how could I possibly get this wrong? <laughs> that was like probably the most obvious and easiest one, too. So if I get it wrong, I'll be really upset. <laughs> it's, all right, next. Lead actress. Lead actress. Sally Hawkins. Shape this of one's water. hard. Yeah, this one's, well, for the... Yeah, it actually is. Uh, Sally Hawkins, The Shape of Water, Francis McDormand, Three Billboards, Margot Robbie, I, Tanya, Saoirse, or Saoirse? I think it's Saoirse, Ronan, Lady Bird, I can say Seahorse Ronan, that's what I used to call her because I didn't know how to pronounce her name, uh, and Meryl Streep, The Post. Uh, I think it's, if it's if it, if we can eliminate two, I would eliminate Margot Robbie and Meryl Streep. Cause, really? Yeah, because Meryl Streep gets nominated, you know, you're, like I said. Your <laughs> fucking logic, the last one was... Well, no, what I meant by Daniel Day Lewis getting nominated all the time, I mean, I mean, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Meryl Streep always gets nominated. I don't, I don't mean she always wins because she was nominated like 20 times, and only won three times. Uh, it, it was like that because Daniel Day Lewis, when he gets nominated, he wins. Sucks, Margot Robbie's out, but yeah. Yeah, Margot Robbie. Yeah, she was great in it, but I think, uh, I think Meryl Streep and her are out. I don't God, think I wanted Sally Hawkins to win so bad. I think it's Frances McDormand. Yep. Yeah, I think it's Frances McDormand. If there's any kind of upset, then maybe Sally Haw Sally Hawkins. I could also see out of nowhere fucking Seahorse Ronan winning. I don't know. I don't know, man. It sucks. So I think third, Saoirse. Second, Sally. See, first, Frances. Yeah. I could see Lady Bird winning, though. I could see any of those three winning. But yeah. I mean, we gotta we gotta make a choice. All right, I'll I'll, I'll pick. Unless Francis you unless you want to say Sir's just gonna win. No, this time I'll just stick to Francis McDormand. Watch, fucking watch, watch what happens on Sunday. Sir Ronan. I'm like fuck. Should have picked her, but uh, right. I'd say Francis McDormand. Yeah. Are you writing these actor. down? No. Okay. I'll remember. Don't worry. All right, supporting actor. Got Willem Dafoe. I think I've seen all these movies now, right? Yeah, I have. Uh, Willem Dafoe. For oh, Florida you seen Project. All the Money in the World? Yeah, I did. I did saw you, it the day before it left. What are you talking about? Wait, wait you saw what? I said, oh, I said I saw it the day before it left my theater. Did you see that part that I mentioned? Oh, the, where you could tell it's Kevin Spacey? No. Uh, well, yeah, you could tell that part. Yeah. But uh, the part where you, you realize probably, like, one of the inherent reasons why they... Why they uh, Took Kevin Spacey out. Uh, is there a part? 
There's one scene in there where I, I watched it and I was like, oh no. If Kevin Wait, Pace say it. This. Say it because it's been like two months at this point. It was the part where uh, he was holding the little boy's hand and they mentioned sex. Oh, shit. No, I, didn't even, I don't even remember that. Oh, fuck. That's yeah, weird. Yeah, he's walking with, he's, he's walking yeah. holding the boy's hand yeah, down. Yeah, his grandson, uh, right? Yeah, his, his grandson, he's, he's walking down. I forget what he was. He's like, and that's where we had sex or something like about talking about him and whatever. Uh, they could easily and edit that, that scene out, too. I watched that. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, no. That's where we had sex. Me and you. What? No. No. They could turn into a horror movie after that. Get out, man. <laughs> Get out. Get out. But, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. I, I, I vaguely uh, remember that. But, um. All right. So, in terms of this. I think, uh, well, well, I didn't see, I didn't say everybody else. Um, Woody Harrelson for three billboards, which that was a surprise. Uh, Richard Jenkins for The Shape of Water. Christopher Plummer, All the Money in the World. Sam Rockwell for three billboards. I think. Christopher Plummer out first. Yeah, Christopher Plummer's gone. Uh, uh, Toodles, you did good. Good boy. Uh, Richard Jenkins is out. Oh, you think Willem Dafoe over Richard Jenkins? Richard Jenkins is out. Yeah, I think Willem Dafoe is like second. Interesting. Yeah, I think I think so. Willem Dafoe is fucking good in that movie, and I like how he wasn't like a big character. He was just he was the manager, and every one of these other characters I would say is like the bit like either a big side character or or a big uh, a big part of the plot. You know, Sam Rockwell and Woody Harrelson are big uh, parts of the plot. You know. Uh, Richard Jenkins, same thing. Christopher Plummer. I like Willem Dafoe as just a guy, you know. And he does such a good job. That that scene with uh with the pedophile. Yeah, that was oh, a good scene. That was so good. That was so good. God damn it. That, yeah, that scene. Was the one that that me and Lupo were talking about when we were talking about like discreetly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That scene and there's one part that doesn't have anything to do with Willem Dafoe where uh the what's her name the Haley the the mother. She's getting kicked out. And he has to like, comfort her. No, not even. No, not that. The part where, where she gets pissed at her friend and she's trying to apologize, and then she just like drags her in her own room and starts beating the shit out of her. That was the be- That was the. That was a slobber knocker. That was even. A, that was a fight. That was a fucking massacre. And next time you see her, she has a fucking. Yeah, she's not even looking at her. Oh, fuck. Yeah, she. And she can't say anything too. I guess I don't. It's it's great. It's great. I love it. But uh, there's some movie. great scenes. There's some great. I love that movie. That's I don't great. think he's taking it though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry to bust well, that. Well, well, I figured because we wanted, I wanted to talk about Florida Project. I'd talk about. Him. Yeah, but, uh, no, it, it was great. Yeah, it was great. You love, you like the tampon scene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, that's, it I wasn't think, even that surprised. <laughs> I think that's literally his exact word. Oh, yeah, that great. was. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's good. All right. <laughs> he's not even that surprised. That's fucked up. Um, yeah, no, he was great. Oh my god, but I think Sam Rockwell was probably taking it. Over Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Really? You think Woody Harrelson's gonna win it? I think Sam I, Rockwell has the best arc of that movie, and he's in it for more. And he's he is. Oh, he's really good in that. I think Woody Harrelson being even like the short time that he was doing that. His character was so strong, and you could, you could, mm-hmm. especially his, um, like the progression of his last day. Mm-hmm. I guess we're getting the spoilers, right? Uh, yeah, spoilers for three billboards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I like like that whole, that whole progression of him. Like he had that battle. Like every time Francis McDormand would like talk shit to him, like. You know, you don't give a shit. You had that kind of look in his face, like I do, but you know, like, yeah, he has his own problems. Yeah, it, it, he he conveyed a lot without saying anything. Yeah, yeah, that um, final that final scene's really good. Where he has the note. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. And like that 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 was all like it, he fucking nailed it. Yeah, but Sam Rockwell was better. <laughs> <laughs> so shut up. <laughs> Yeah, but how about that part where Willem Dafoe tells the pedophile to leave? That's pretty emotional, too. That was such a good scene. Yeah, see? Uh, Christopher Plummer, remember that part where he almost sexually assaulted that kid or whatever the fuck you were talking about earlier? Oh, great scene. 
Richard Jenkins, um, when, uh, when he, um, congratulations, Sam Rockwell, congratulations, Sam Rockwell. Woo. Well deserved. You're the youngest one here by about 35 years. Good job. Nah, I think he's almost the same age as Woody Harrelson at this point. Um, you can go, but congrats, you win. You're going to win. Good job. Just get ready to accept your award and your stupid little speech. Just make sure you, you talk about Me Too and show they get pissed at you. So, there you go. Yeah, just in case he's listening to this. Because everybody got... Remember at the Golden Globes, everybody got pissed that no, no none of the male winners were like talking about Me Too? The Me Too movement? That was yeah. ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, I think Sam Rockwell's going to win. But if you if you think Woody Harrelson, that's fine. Do you think Woody Harrelson? No, I, I think Sam Rockwell's getting it, even though I would I, I, I would love that. Okay. Supporting actress, uh, Mary J. Blige, Mudbound, didn't see it. Allison Janney, I, Tanya, Leslie Manville, Phantom Third, didn't see it. Laurie Metcalf, Lady Bird, saw it. Octavia Spencer, The Shape of Water. Uh... So, how about this? Hmm. I think immediately, I think Mary J. Blige is eliminated. Yeah. And then Leslie Manville for Phantom Thread. I think I talk, Octavia Spencer is probably actually first when it comes to knocking someone down, actually. So, I think it's really up to Lori Metcalf and uh, Allison Janney. I don't know. What do you feel? Because we saw both. You movies. know. I want to say Alice and Jane. I think that's that she won for Golden Globe, right? I don't know, actually. I think, I think she did. Oh, it was for... No, I, I think they just have re- regular supporting actress, right? They didn't have a comedy or drama to, uh, version of that, right? Pretty sure she won. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, she was great. <laughs> Fucking... Every time that she, she showed up, I'm like, oh, here we go. Comedy, you can't wait. <laughs> and she's so messed up. I loved it. So Laurie Metcalf was a great... It, you know, that's a, that's a perfect comparisons when it comes to uh moms portrayed in films because you got uh, i tanya a horrible mother terrible and then you got lady bird who's yeah she's a she's a good mom. horrible mother terrible yeah. no she she's a she's a fucking cock blocker and she's horrible actually i don't even know i don't even remember what she did that would be so horrible in that movie but you know she, she was just a mom she, she's doing her job you know she was strict i guess she, she told her how it is. She wasn't Alice and Janney who stabs her daughter with a fucking knife. Oh, man. That was great. But, uh, yeah, I, I would say Alice and Janney. I think that's probably my choice. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. He just wants to get over it. Um, all right. Director. All right. Director. No Ma- Malcolm. What's his name? Martin Mc- McDonough whatever yeah that, that makes me is... a little worried for three billboards when it comes to best picture though so i don't know all right so anyway uh... yeah well director is dunkirk of course for uh, christopher nolan for dunkirk jordan peele for get out greta gerwig for lady bird paul thomas anderson for phantom thread and guillermo del toro for the shape of water i think I think Phantom Thread's out. Yeah, Phantom Thread's out. I think... I think right here is is a pretty good four-way fight. Yeah, I think Lady Bird would be out, though. I... I, I yeah, okay. I, I think, I think to be honest, I think Get Out is needs to get out, too. <laughs> just, you know, just saying. You know Can I mean? you imagine? If Dunkirk, Christopher Nolan won? Just for a second. I think this is the one Jordan, he needs. No, 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 no. Jordan Peele wins? Jordan Peele winning this. That'd be a... Uh, that doesn't. Hey, hey. If if something wins director, that usually means that movie won't win best picture. The last like few times that's happened, where you know like La La Land won best director, and then when La La Land was announced as best picture, I got I got really surprised. I was like, oh shit, okay. Usually it's not the same as best director. And then of course what happened happened. Um, I think it's gonna be the same thing. I think if Get Out wins, that doesn't mean it's gonna win best picture. Or Jordan Peele wins, I guess. No, but I would love Jordan Peele to win, though. I think Dunk. I think Christopher Nolan needs. Like, he's been. He he needs. Like, I, I, Jordan I, Peele I want... had. That's his first movie, and he got nominated. Great, but Christopher those Nolan. Two. No, I think I think Christopher Nolan deserves it more. Uh, no, I, I I'm down for those two. Yeah, but I think Gamble. First off, I want Jordan Peele to win just because I think that 
that's huge. Like, yeah. You told me like a year ago, Jordan Peele's gonna win Best Director. Like, hey. what the fuck's your issue? Like, what the fuck? But what's your issue? You, but I've said this before. I'm a Christopher Nolan fanboy to, to the fucking end, and mm-hmm. this is his time. I think Dunkirk. I I don't know. Um, I, I forget if I asked you this already. What? Do we know any rumblings on yeah. what his next project is? No. I mean, so it, if it goes back to his style of like. Like mind fuck kind of movies. Yeah, I think this is only chance at yeah. at this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless he does something because he he tries to do the 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 quote unquote mind fuck movies. Um, but he tries to do different genres in that same kind of like mind fuckery, I guess. Right. Because yeah, Inception, Interstellar, uh, not the Dark Knight movies, but um, uh, Memento. Well, I mean, Memento uh, prestige, you know, those are all different, pretty much different, uh, genres, I would say. Uh, Inception was like, I guess, this is, a this is the only shot, movie. I think, at, yeah. uh, best director if he goes down the same path. Yeah, but what, what I was trying to say is, like, it matters on what genre he picks next, is really, like, he could have a mindfuck thing in there, um, something that's really twisty and whatnot, but, uh, and remember, Inception was nominated for best picture. It wasn't nominated for best director, but it was nominated for best picture. Um, and uh, it matters on what, what genre he picks, I guess. Which right, war film was a, a great choice because they like their war films. The Academy, if he if they do like a, a period, if he does a period piece next time where it's like set in England or something, except there's like some shit about dreams within dreams, then you know, I think that'd be I think that'd be good because they like their period pieces too. I mean, look you at wanna, look at Darkest Hour. To, but uh, yeah, give it to. Uh... I think we can give it to, uh, yeah, I know, no, I'm not actually, I think he deserves it, but I think they're going to pick Guillermo del Toro. I think that's the one. I think that's a safe bet. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go Nolan. Okay. I hope so. Because even though I I love Shape of Water and I think it's a better movie than Dunkirk, I think when it comes to direction, I think Christopher Nolan did a better job. He, from like pen to paper to screen i think mm-hmm. he had the strongest like mm-hmm. oh yeah his vision, that's all you know? a direction movie like that's why there's no <laughs> that's why there's no real dialogue or any characters really that because christopher nolan's like no i'm getting that fucking oscar <laughs> i'm doing it this is my movie i'm the star i'm right. the one who wins i'm the one who wins yeah <laughs> you don't know skyler i'm the one who knocks a motherfucker out if I don't get that goddamn award. <laughs> but uh, hey, I hope he wins. But I think it's gonna be uh, Gullermo. I think Gullermo got it. Did I ever tell you that's why yeah. I used to think <laughs> when I was like ten? That's how I thought Guillermo was pronounced. Germo? Gu- no, Gullermo. Because <laughs> I had no, a friend named I had a fr- friend named Guillermo for the longest time, uh. and I I didn't call him that because I couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> so so I just called him Memo. That was his uh that was his short version of his name. That's how that's what he liked to be called. So I didn't call him Gullermo or Guillermo. I just called him Memo. What's up, Memo? Call him so, Guillotine. It's just a little thing about me. Guillotine. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Guillotine? I'm just cutting cutting fucking heads off. I'm tired. Let's uh let's do the next one. All right, next one is animated feature. We we don't need to do this. It's gonna be the boss baby. All right, so next animated short. <laughs> All right, now animated feature. The we boss... don't need to do it, but it's gonna be. No, we we do it quick. The boss baby, the breadwinner, uh, the winner, Coco. It's funny that the breadwinner is before Coco because the f- last word before Coco is winner. Just saying, just saying. Ferdinand. I don't know why that's yes. nominated. I don't know why that's nominated. And Loving Vincent, which that makes sense. But um, Coco is going to win. That's, that's it. Okay. That's it. Next. Possibly out first, then Ferdinand, All then right. Loving Vincent, then Breadwinner, then Coco. Yeah, there you go. All right, next. Animated short. We don't. We can't do these. I don't think. All right? I didn't see uh, these. Negative space going on. I'll say that too. All right, next. Adapted screenplay. This is a good category right here. All right, Call Me By Your Name. I'm not going to read the person's name. I'm just going to say the movie. Call Me By Your Name, The Disaster Artist, Logan, Molly's Game, and Mudbound. 
So you got three movies here that have only one nomination in this fucking uh, this category. Because I don't think Disaster Artist or Molly's Game was nominated for anything else, right? Or Logan. So well, get fucked. Yeah, well, yeah. That's what I say. I said three. Well, Logan, did I need to really ask that? <laughs> I knew that immediately. But Disaster Artist and Molly's Game at, before the Oscars, uh, the Oscar nomina- no, no, yeah, nominations were announced. You know, that was a... Those are shoe-ins. Yeah, not Logan. Logan was fucking shooing. I'm surprised it got nominated. But uh, if we have to eliminate, I think Logan would probably be first. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> you made it far, buddy. Yeah. Well, it got nominated. No, I think Molly's game first, actually. No, I think, I, I don't know, Aaron Sorkin. Everybody loves that Aaron Sorkin. He, he writes a fucking screenplay. And Mudbound like, first? I think, no, I think Logan first. And then I say Disaster Artist, then Mudbound, then Molly's game, and then Call Me By Your Name is the winner. All right, moving on. All right, original. Wait, do you think the same thing? Yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Okay. I, I'm. All right, original. I mean, screen- I mean, like my original, my 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 hopes to be otherwise, but we're doing predictions. I would love if Logan wins. Of course, I would. Can you imagine? That'd be weird, but <laughs> and it might not deserve it technically, but it would just be awesome for it to one something. Would it not deserve it? Well, I haven't seen Call Me by Your Name yet, so Molly oh, Molly's game, I have no interest in anymore. Mudbound, I might watch if I have the time. I think you'd like Molly's Game, too. I think I would, too. I just have no interest in it, like, now, because it hasn't been nominated for anything. So maybe I'll watch it, like, in the future, which that ain't gonna happen. But, uh, who knows. Uh, original screenplay, you got The Big Sick, Get Out, Lady Bird, The Shape of Water, and Three Billboards. Uh, so you got all these Oscar nominee, I mean, Best Picture nominations, and then Big Sick. What do you, I know what you want The Big Sick. What a tragedy. <laughs> what a tragedy. Everybody's complaining Florida Project didn't get nominated, but I'm sure you're you know, way more upset Big Six not in there. Yeah. I think Big Six should have been in there. Like over like Big Sick and Florida Project over the post and Darkest Hour. For sure, I think. But of course I want War for Planet Apes to be in there, so but, You know what? I'd swap out I'd say the post and Phantom Thread. Just because I think Daniel or not uh, Gary Oldman Yeah. I guess, but Darkest Hour when it comes to picture. Like I didn't like picture. Darkest Hour really, so I mean that's fine. All right, well, fuck you. But uh, all right, so first one would be it would be the Big Sick probably that would be gone, right? Because it's not nominated for anything else. Uh, well, we're talking about how, what they what uh, they're gonna pick. Uh, <laughs> it's not gonna win, so you might as well just take it out and get over it. <laughs> like rip it off like a fucking bandaid, get over it. Uh, all right, so fine. We won't take Big Sick out right yet. All right. No, Big Sick then Lady Bird. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you're smart. I don't know about Lady Bird. I wouldn't take Lady it out Bird. yet. I think Get Out first before nope. Lady Bird. All right, fine. I, fuck I it. think I think I think if if anything, original screenplay is gonna shine up and forget out. Forget out, really. I think so. Uh, yeah. I guess I could see that. Yeah. Original screenplay. So I'm, like I'm, I'm thinking what, what, of all the. What were we complaining about at the beginning of this fucking episode? Or not at the beginning? Of the episode. Was it this episode we we're talking about? Or were oh, we what? bitching about it before the episode? We, we were bet, definitely bitching about it before the episode. What? Uh, Lady Bird? Yeah, but yeah, it was before the episode. episode. Right, I'm already, everything's blended. Yeah, blended. It, it was in the episode and before. <laughs> we, were just, we were just talking about how it didn't feel original to us. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, so called, uh, it's called original screenplay. That just means that it, it's not based on a fucking the, book or. Yeah, you know, I know, I know, but. By my own marriage, yeah. nothing original about it. Yeah, no, there's not. But you, you could say the same thing about the big sick in a way, you know? Nah, fuck you. <laughs> well, you that's, it's true. Someone gets sick, there's a love story, and there's comedy. No one gets sick. <laughs> Usually it's... <laughs> no one gets sick. It's no, called the big sh- sick. <laughs> sh- no, no, I was saying in, in, in like... I'm not talking about like every romantic comedy ever, but there's been yeah. romantic comedies out there that had like some drama. Like, oh, this person's sick or she's in a coma or she dead or <laughs> or he dead. Or... <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> she dead. <laughs> 50 first dates. I, that's a little close day. I think I'm like... Well, that was, that's, a, that's, a, that's a horror movie at the end. <laughs> He's just yeah. like, you're on my boat. You don't know where you are. <laughs> Like, what the oh. fuck? Ah! <laughs> you better really watch the tape. Why did she didn't even notice the tape there? She would just go outside thinking she was abducted. <laughs> Good shit. She shoots him. <laughs> she has a gun there for some reason. No! Okay, so we. I think... 
the big sick. I think Lady Bird for sure after that. Okay, Lady Bird, big sick are out. Um, I think Shape of Water. I don't know if that's gonna win. I think that might have didn't that win at the Golden Globes though. I mean, I'm, not, know, I'm not. I'm yeah. not. I'm not gonna take the Golden Globes into consideration anymore because I don't remember. But um, yeah, I think Shape of Water would be next, and Get Out and Three Billboards would be the two front runners. I could see Get Out though. I could see that would be the award it wins. I think. I think it. I. I'd be sh- not shocked, but I'd be a little bit surprised if Get Out got nothing. Well, it, that, it, that that's got a lot of talk coming into this. It could still get some. Yeah. Isn't it nominated for other things? Or is that it? I don't think so. Oh shit! All right, well, <laughs> oh, I I think it might I think it might get it. I think you're right. I you know I'll I'll say get out also. Even though I think three billboards has a yeah pretty yeah, big yeah I have three billboards. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I'll pick three billboards too. Nah, fuck you. Nah, <laughs> nah, I got I got <laughs> You pick get out. Yeah, I know you do. You fucking. I, I just I just <laughs> talk you to this wrong choice and I'm like ah fuck you. you know, thinking about it, get out does make sense because uh, of what it does and and how it does it without having to i guess focus on it too much you know it's not like just right. someone comes down and says like this guy's racist it does a does a good job of there's no racist. showing that there's no racism there's, it in it never really. it never actually says the word racist yeah no it just does the thing the thing that you would expect in real life you know no one's gonna ever say well yeah white people to be creepy yeah white people are creepy you know how many times i creeped on people i didn't even realize it <laughs> I was begging you to look at the camera all funny. I, w- I wake up, I look in the mirror, I'm like, what have I become? <laughs> <laughs> I'm creeping. I don't even know where I am. But, uh, yeah, I didn't get out. Didn't get you have anything. to wake up and watch your own tape. Uh, yeah, I'm just creeping. I'm not even doing anything else. Tip-toeing. All right, cinematography. Oh, man. All right, Blade Runner 2049, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Mudbound, and The Shape of Water. All right. All right, um, Mudbound's out. Huh? Oh, shit, yeah. Sorry, Mudbound. See you later. I guess you're you're bound to not win. <laughs> oh no, it's probably good Darkest too. Hour's out. Darkest Hour. I think Shape of Water's out too. I think it's I think it's up to Dunkirk and Blade Runner. Ooh, that's a good fight right there. Yeah, that Shape of Water might edge in there somewhere. You know, maybe it, maybe it'll, Dunkirk. maybe it'll be like you know like two point five. Because it's, I mean, it's I think really Dunkirk good. Takes it Dunkirk really? Cinematography. Oh no, Blade Runner. If Blade Runner doesn't win, I feel so bad for Roger Deakins. That's the cinematographer. He's been, I think he's been nominated a few times, but he's had so many movies where it's just like it's beautiful and he doesn't get shit for it. And and he's kind of like the new Leonardo DiCaprio, where everybody's just like, oh, he should win. He deserves it. And then he doesn't win. <laughs> Some asshole mm. takes it. So, I yeah, Dun- I, I wouldn't be upset if Dunkirk wins it, but uh, I think Blade Runner, holy shit. I think that I think that's like number one. The only thing going for it is that I'm thinking that. Cause I'm trying to think of the, the whole old versus new people now. Yeah. And I know the old people had a lot more ties with Blade Runner as well. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. But yeah, I mean, Dunkirk feels like an old movie too, you know, for old people. You know, that's like an old person I, war film. I, where it's I not too violent. And it's just, you know, it's loud. I personally. It's hard too because. I saw fucking Dunkirk in that 70 millimeters, so yeah. it was a nice movie. I saw it in IMAX, but, so that was pretty good still. But is I don't know. I, I I was rushing out to get the Blade Runner 2049 4K. I wasn't doing the same thing for Dunkirk. So? I would personally say Blade Runner, but okay. I, I have a feeling they're going to pick Dunkirk. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about what they're going to pick, and I could see that. So I, I'd say... Um, I'd say Mudbound. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'd say... Um, Can you imagine? I'd say Dunkirk. Mudbound is one. Yeah. No, you know what? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't want to say Dunkirk. It really is confusing on what they're going to pick. Because sometimes you look at it and you're like, oh, they're definitely going to pick Shape of Water, I think, also has a... Has, has a chance. Has a, I think that one yeah. at the Golden Globes, I could be wrong, but I think it did. If they even have a cinematography one. I remember Shape of Water winning a lot of awards in the Golden Globes. What else is Blade Runner here for? Uh, visuals and uh, I think sound design. editing and is it sound editing too? 
production design. It was, it was nominated for and a few it, awards. It's in visual effects as well. I think visual effects is where it's going to win. Oh, I hope not, because I think War for Planet of Apes is... I mean, Blade <laughs> Runner is all perfect and beautiful, and I get that whole sex scene is great. But War for Planet of Apes, I forgot I was even looking at special effects. I was like, it, it, that's just a real monkey. Don't lie to me. <laughs> it's, you gave them some <laughs> growth hormone. <laughs> you gave them some growth hormone and made them all smart and shit. Don't fucking lie to me. But I don't. I don't know. I guess. I guess I'll say they're gonna pick Dunkirk, but I would like Blade Runner to win, personally. So, but they're gonna pick Dunkirk. So anyway, next. You you say wait you said Dunkirk also right? Yeah, I I, I think Dunkirk though. I'd be very happy if uh, Blade Runner wins. Blade Runner won. All right, best documentary feature. I don't think we saw any of these. Did you see any of them? Nope. I, w- I really wanted to see Faces Places, and I really wanted to see Icarus, but I didn't see either one. So, all right, it's Abacus, Faces Places, Icarus, Last Men in Aleppo, and Strong Island. I think uh, Faces Strong Places. Island, uh, on. Strong Island? Okay, I, I'm going to say Faces Places. There you go. Next. Best documentary short subject. Uh, I don't think we know any of these because I've never heard of them. Have you heard of any of these? Nope. All right, you just want to move on? Um, you, or, unless yeah. you want to predict one, just like say screw it. You want to do that? I'll do it. Uh, Harrow. Why three? Oh all right. fuck. All right, yeah, no, let's do it. No, I was just gonna say one. No, go ahead. All right, count it down. No, we can't pick heroin then. Okay, no heroin. <laughs> it's good. All, right. all right, go ahead. Three, two, one. Traffic, traffic stop. stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Watch, that's the worst one. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to watch these too because that's a part of the short films too, the short subject ones. Um, but we'll see. All right, best live action short film. All right, you want to do it again? Uh, yeah. yeah sure. I'll count it down. All right, all right. Three, two, one. The eleven o'clock. Sign a child. All right. I said eleven o'clock. You said sign a child. Oh, I definitely wasn't going to say what to what. Yeah, I almost did that. <laughs> what to what? All of us. All right, so I said 11 o'clock. You said Silent Child. All right. All right. Best foreign language film. Uh, I've actually yeah. heard of these, so. Oh, you want to do it again, though? Let's fuck it. Let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. Uh, three, two, one. Loveless. Loveless. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I said Loveless for <laughs> Fuck out of <No>. here. <laughs> All right, fine. I've heard Loveless is really good, though. And yeah, fa- and a fantastic good. woman. Those two. Um, But Loveless, I heard, is. All right. Go ready. All right. Three. No, we could do <laughs> <laughs> All right, film editing, Baby Driver, Dunkirk, I, Tanya, which is weird, The Shape of Water, and Three Billboards. Right, I, I, Tanya will look out. good, but I don't know. Yeah, I, Tanya, get the fuck out of here. Um, uh, Shape of Water's out. <clears throat> yeah, Shape of Water's Three out. Three Billboards out. Three Billboards out. Uh, Dunkirk's out, Baby Driver. All right, next. <laughs> no. No, it's probably going to be Dunkirk that wins. Yeah. But Baby Driver's a really close second. When it comes to film editing, whoo! That Edgar Wright boy, right. no, no, I think he edits his own films, too. I think. I could be wrong, but... uh. Sound editing. I know. It says right there. It's not him. It says Jonathan Ames. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Sound editing. I'm going to say Dunkirk, but it could be Baby Jarvis. Sound editing. Baby. Uh, let's, just, let's, just, let's, just, let's just go where we're winning at this point. Okay. So, all right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll say it just real quick. Baby Jarvis, Blade Runner, 2049, Dunkirk, The Shape of Water, Star Wars, The Last Jedi. I think... I think... I think Blade... Baby Driver, 2049. Yeah, I think Blade Runner this one. But Dunkirk had some really good sound editing too. And yeah. sound mixing and editing are very very similar. But um there's some I, I can't even explain to you what the difference is, but I I read it and I try to like study it and I still don't <sighs> the mixing <sighs> fuck, I don't even gonna try to explain you know, the difference. It's but... funny because you, you they're not the same. No, they're not no, they're not the same, but they they're similar they, because they're both right. sound related, is what really what I meant. But uh, so you could say like, oh, Dunkirk will be nominated for both awards because you know it's fucking Dunkirk, so the sound is excellent. So both editing and mixing, I don't know, whatever. Let's start wrapping this up. Okay, so <laughs> we're almost done. Calm down, Blade bro. Run, did you say what'd you say? I didn't say anything. Um, no, I lied. I I'm said Blade Runner. To Blade Runner. Yeah, no, I said Blade Runner. I was fucking with you. I'm like, yeah. all right. Uh, and Blade Runner again for sound mixing. Yeah, Blade Runner, yeah. Because, look, it's the exact same awards, too. You know, all different people doing it, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, well. They're, they're different. Direction design. When it comes to, like, if it's, if a movie has great sound, then it's going to be nominated for both those awards, most likely. All right, production design. 
All right, Beauty and the Beast, Blade Runner, Darkest Blade Hour, Runner. Dunkirk, Shape of Water. I'm going to say, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna Shape say, of Water, Blade Runner. Yeah, Shape. I'm going to say Shape of Water. I think I want Shape of Water. So, there you, know you what? go. They have, yeah, it hasn't won that much, huh? At this no. point, the way we're predicting. No, I think, it, uh, yeah, yeah, I think direct, director, production design, and uh, maybe score. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'll give it to Shape of Water, though. Okay. All right. Original score, Dunkirk, Phantom Thread, The Shape of Water, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, and Three Billboards. Dunkirk. Uh, I, I would say Dunkirk is a possi- is like the second one there, but I think Shape of Water. I think I think that one's going to be... Uh, I'm, I, I think so, too, but I'm, I'm going to go with, with Boy Hans. Okay. I, I'm going to say they're going to pick Shape of Water, but I, w- I obviously wouldn't be upset if they picked Dunkirk because that's a huge part of the movie, too. Uh, all right. Original song... You got Mighty River from Mudbound, Mystery of Love from Call Me By Your Name, Remember Me from Coco, Stand Up for Something from Marshall. <laughs> That's funny. This is me from The Greatest Showman. Uh, this I th- is me. I think Remember Me. I don't know. I think Remember Me. Mm, I think This Is Me got so popular that it'd be number one. Yeah, but you have to remember, like, look, Get Out's so popular, but no one's fucking voting for it or even watching it when it comes to Academy uh, voters. Um so uh, you know, you, popularity-wise, I don't think popularity mm. really means much. Critics did hate that movie too. You know, critics didn't really hate it. It just they, they they're just fucking like, eh. it. Yeah, all right, fine. They fucking they really despise it. That was the worst fucking thing since cancer. And I'm gonna it. stick with this is me. I'm gonna say remember me. Okay. What? And this is it. Doesn't matter. We're gonna see all these performances. So everything nominated there, they're gonna perform. So at least they us- they do that every year. So I'm assuming they'll do it this year. Makeup and hair. Darkest Hour, Victoria and Abdul Wonder. Darkest Hour, I think. You don't care. So, <laughs> you there? Sorry, no, I got cut out. Darkest Hour. Darkest Hour? Okay. Costume Design, Beauty and the Beast, The Darkest Hour, Phantom Thread, The Shape of Water, Victoria and Abdul, a fucking gun. Um, Darkest Hour. Darkest Hour for Costume Design? I'm going to say Phantom Thread because that's all about the dresses and shit. And that... Wouldn't that count with Gary Oldman, though? Yeah, well, well no, that'd be makeup though. That's why I think Darkest Hour win that because they Victoria and Abdul. <laughs> yeah, I I agree. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say Phantom. Uh... I'm gonna say Phantom Third. Yeah, because has Phantom Third not won anything then? No, but in in our nominations or uh, all right fuck predictions, it. sure. Yeah, yeah sure, yeah, whatever. Who cares? Fuck it. And the last one, we're done after. Blade Runner done. All right, well, hold on. No, <laughs> <laughs> this one's important. All right, Just stop fucking around. <laughs> all right, visual effects: Blade Runner twenty forty nine, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, Kong Skull Island, Star Wars: The Last Jedi, and War for Planet Apes. All right, I get Blade Runner. I get all right, War for Planet Apes. No, so. Kong Skull Island. I like my monkeys. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, Kong Skull Island's gone. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy's gone. Star Wars, Wars is gone. gone. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> you know what? I like how it's your one horse in a race, and you're just looking at Blade Runner, and you're like, God. Yeah, but War for My Apes looks better. Like, uh, there's never a cool sex scene. You though. know what? There's there's a weird part in Blade Runner where you see uh, a, a certain character that's completely CG, and it looked weird. So, just saying. There's no sex War, though. War for Life for blah, 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 has uh, all CG characters, and. It, I never think they're CGI ever. So right. War for the blah blah blah. blah, blah. Uh, no, I think War for Five is gonna win. All right, I got Blade Runner. I'm saying it because it's true. God damn it! <laughs> I hope so. I hope you get something. I didn't make the fucking movie. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> I get something. It sounds like it. You you should you should be hoping that too because it fucking deserves it. And they they've worked hard to make those apes look good. All right, fucking Blade Runner cares no one saw it anyway <laughs> people saw war for planet apes thank you and goodbye what that's bullshit though like uh, why is blade runner i get it blade runner is great and all it's it's superb it's been the best thing ever since the last blade runner but it fucking it does it's not better looking than those fucking apes <laughs> <laughs> are you laughing at <laughs> what the fuck's funny I'm not kidding. <laughs>